Third and fourth seeds for this tournament. Um, Sri Lanka pulled in a few players and they're at near full strength to take on China. So a warm welcome to the Asia Rugby Executive who's having one of their key meetings in Colombo this weekend and also enjoying the rugby. I've been told to say hello to the head of digital, Tom Chick. Tom, you're doing a magnificent job and obviously the decision to stick with Grant and I as the online commentary team is going to probably come home massive dividends. Here we go, match seven here at the Racecourse International Stadium. It's China to take on the host Sri Lanka who will be re-energised with the inclusion of Danushka Ranjan. They could only manage sixth spot in Korea, losing the fifth and sixth playoff against the Philippines. And we know what they can do. And they're up against the Chinese side who have sit in third on the log. A largely new looking squad this season for the Chinese. There he is. Danushka Ranjan in 11, 12, Surya Rachi, Kevin Joseph in 4, Gudnaratne, Wirarutna. Quality all across that starting seven. Rafa Dean and Wirarutne in 1. Of course, the skipper, Surya Bandara, and coached by Peter Wood. This is a dangerous looking Sri Lankan side. Perhaps the first time they've had choice of all their players. Well, they came out earlier in the week and expressed their desires about getting to Hong Kong to represent Sri Lanka at the World Qualifying Series Tournament in April. And the selection would endorse that. Expecting a big effort and some outstanding games from this Tusker outfit. But they'll have to be right on their middle against this Chinese team. And China do possess size and strength. And they do have some pace as well, but um, the speed stakes of Tuskers reign supreme. There are very few teams who man for man have got the pace to cover the Sri Lankan team when they get the move on. Here we go then, Matt Rodden is our referee from Hong Kong. And the Chinese have just landed that. Curiously, there's a bit of interrogation here of the call. And that's, you gotta be careful there, mate. You can't, you can't be having a crack at the assistance. Sri Lanka, of course, in Hong Kong. Well, they took the third spot after smashing Philippines 40 points to nil to 12. And then they met again in the fifth six playoff in Korea. So, but this looks like a better looking squad. But China are here to play. They're not here to make up the numbers. There's the big man Liu Junkoi in 11. He is such an athlete. He is ripped to bits. Here goes Lee into the 22 now. Good continuity. Jang looking for the loop around from Gao. Oh. Sri Lankans though just getting a couple of arms in there to tie it up. This guy also hand and five. He's a dangerous player as well. So look out for him. Here he goes again, Han. He was very impressive in Hong Kong. Getting in the road there of Chen. The big man Chen won't be stopped. And look at that. Bit of Archie Baji off the ball there. But he stuck to task. Didn't throw his arms up. Second try of the series, and he's a large man, isn't he, going under the post like that? I saw, saw a few of them attacking the dinner buffet last night with some real anger and tremendous fury, the Chinese. But look, this is the aspect of the Chinese game that can worry Sri Lanka, and as long as China has the ball, as the conversion is successful then they're going to cause Sri Lanka some problems Boys. through the middle Boys, this Sri Lanka showing some early willingness to make the tackles which is uh, 
Well, it says a lot, doesn't it? Because if they start really throwing their bodies around, they're going to shut down any idea about taking them on up front. Teams will get sucked into trying to play Sri Lanka out wide, which will really work into their favour. The rain has stopped. It was about a half hour. A bit of rain just finished. So here we go. Look at that straightening from Riza Rafaidin. Beautiful tackle around the ankles. They're on the front foot now as Dinuk comes away with it. The inside ball to Dansha Dayan. And they reply straight back to Sri Lankans. The Tusters are in under the post. And there's a hug and a kiss even before the ball is put down. And it's Dansha Dayan, first try of the season of the series. The delight on his face well, could that's, be suppressed. That's the explosive pace. That's the power with the power and speed that we're talking about. Conversion successful in Sri Lanka. They can take 80 metres off you in the blink of an eye. Great stop start to get them into the clear. And then, well, we could be seeing this is a real clash of styles. It's a real contrast of strengths. We have to see who gets to the end of this contest in the lead. That one's about a couple of inches short. Just held up in, well, the breeze has gone completely. There was a breeze that the Sri Lankans would have been facing into. That's gone. The flags there are limp. Come back to the dot for Han. We saw that big man Shen score the try, but I tell you what, Duncha Dayan is a large mammal himself. Here's Han. Might be a bit slippery underfoot. They look to go down the far side to Chi. He's got to get out of the way there. Rodden's oh. not having that. No. Here comes Han. He's in the middle of everything right now. Beats one, beats two. Takes on the third with a fend. He is like a coiled copper today, Han. That's a bit sloppy, though, as the Sri, Sri Lankans come streaming through onto that one. Here's a chance. Broken play. They've got the runners that can do damage here. Here's Danushka. And straightening up goes Danushka Ranjan, the local favourite. And how many times have we seen this man run them in from all over the field? He's an excitement machine. And it's great seeing him back on the field there. First try for him and second try for Sri Lanka. Uh, China court panicking a little bit there in defence. Uh, a lot of defenders tucked into that quarter of the park. And Anushka Ranjan. Uh, he doesn't need too many invitations, does he, as the conversion goes awry. <laughs> so, remarkably, that two-pointer has missed, but you see the scoring power of this team as he straightens, gets on the gas, and just leaves, well, he leaves the two Chinese players thinking about making a tackle. We've seen some great contests between these two sides. Construction, Tanushka Ranjan and Ma Chong from China, two of the superstars of the series. And yeah, we've enjoyed the contest between those two. He's not here though today, Ma Chong, and they've earned themselves a free start. Here goes Dan Chidayan, the try scorer, and Chen, the other try scorer, gets on top of him. Sudam Suryachi. Just toying with the Chinese defence. Here's Srinath. Surya Bandara, the captain, fires one out. This is Dinuk. Good tackle, though, from Jang. Good continuity, good phase play. Here's Dansha. Gayan takes on everybody. Gets chopped down by Lee. Good patience from the Sri Lankans. Leading 12-7. Closing in on half-time. Another try here would be brutal. And it's Srinath Surya Bandara, the skipper, goes in for a vital third try as we close in on half-time there. Very patient, very measured. No one taken on the line and getting isolated. Six try of the series for him. Sri Lanka looking good. 
Some lovely experience there. Sensing the urgency of China as they had the two points, Sri Lanka. You can just feel there's a little bit of panic in this Chinese team. They recognise only too well the potency of the Sri Lankan attack. And they reacted to the first picture they saw yeah, the half-time break in Sri Lanka in the driver's seat. 19 points to 7 over China. Welcome to Ruth Mitchell and also next qualified Matthias from Namibia. Wonderful country, Namibia. One of, one of the most beautiful countries in the world. Great, great to have you with us. Watching the first of the Sri Lankan tries. And came from a very good standing start. Anushka Ranjan, well, don't be surprised to see this bloke. He just absolutely floats in, doesn't he? And look at that smart, clever play, uh, which indicates that Sri Lanka really are especially upstairs they really are thinking hard about how they want to attack this game peter wood looking very happily nick Groob, the ssc coach for sri lanka happy with the squad here in colombo they've added some very very strong parts coming out of korea and they mean to defend home ground in a very, very serious fashion, and they've started very well. See Hong Kong warming up in the background there. They'll be taking on Chinese Taipei next. China. Also in the pool with Sri Lanka and China. <coughs> Surya Bandara gets that one nice and high, and he's got that right on the money, but well fielded by... Chung Wan Chi. A little show and go from Liu Jung Kul. Him in number 11, Han in number 5, two of the real line breakers for this Chinese side. As Jang takes a bit of contact right on the halfway. Their turn to be a bit patient as Han. Throws a wide one out to his partner in crime, Liu. Yeah, oh, well done there in the tackle, Danuk. Done illegally, though. Looked like a good steal in a single motion. Here comes Fu. Big Fu gets underway. Takes on Danuk. Here's Lee to Han. Here's Han and Liu just looking to collaborate down the short side here. And there's a good pick and go from Lee, but there's no advantage because you held on, him back. Hold him back. But there was a high says tackle. Rodden and a high tackle. Not you sure why the advantage was not played there. Something must have happened. Matt Rodden doesn't usually miss a thing. Here's Lou. And it's just going to be an easy try here for Lee. Similar to their try in the first half. The Sri Lankans not numbering up on defence. And in for an easy second try of the series to Lee Hightow. Kind of a messy start, isn't it, to this second half? But it's probably an indication of how hard both of these teams are trying to get the upper hand. China humbled and in that first seven minutes. 19-7, they hit the break. They've managed to get themselves now, well... Back, in, back into some sort of reckoning. They're hardly in touch at 19-12. In the end, Sri Lanka caught with six men as Danuk gets some attention from the Climb medics. Off. And Time's off. Time has been called off here by referee Rodden. I'm on. Sama Sama watching in New Zealand. Kia ora. And Miss Ulama Stout in Germany watching from Frankfurt. Hello to Sally Singh. 
and Mayo Bello, Pali Mayo Bello from South Africa. So we're international, Grant. It's wonderful, isn't it, that a tournament like this, the Asia 7 Series, gets such interest from around the world. It's great having you all with us. There is Sudam in 12 on the field. That restart from China, not, not even going one metre, so an error there. Most of these teams are able to nail their restarts beautifully every time. Here goes Danushka Ranjan. Tries to get on the outside of Gao. He says, no way. You know what threat he poses. That's a great tackle from Big Lou there. And he gets up and makes another one. Dynamic. He's a huge man. Here's Danuk. Takes on two tacklers. Coming in. Srinath. Secure that. Just in the nick of time. Here's Gayan. Probably one of the biggest Sri Lankan players. Just battles his way to the halfway. Over the top there was Liu. Working hard but not rolling away, says Rodden. So... A small net gain there for the Sri Lankans. Good defence from China, though. Well, China have started to get a little bit of momentum going their way at the moment. Three minutes remaining. And still... Come off. 11 and 5. Point now. Buffer for Sri Lanka, plus an opportunity now to increase that. And big little looter who almost shot the infamy. Wait for time on, please. Last time out with the well, kicking defensive style Keep against Toby Fien oh, from Hong Kong. That uh, meme did the rounds pretty quickly online. Manage. That's well contested by China, and they've won the scrum. They've identified, perhaps, on. You can have a scrum. Scrum some line frailties out. in the Sri Lankan line-out. That's a big front row. Look at the size of that front row. It's got to be the biggest front row here at this tournament. Find on your hooker. Stability. Yeah, big strong men, aren't they? They look like they've the uh, come from straight out of the farm paddock. Crouch! Bench pressing tractors. Bind. Sit. A couple of minutes remaining. Just the one score to come level. Here's Liu on the 22. Entry. From the side. They go quick through Gao. Gao with the big dramatic show there. Pops it up to Chen, the try scorer. One of the front rowers lurking out there. Here's the other front rower, Liu Luda. Popped up to Fu. The front row in song here. And Liu comes in for another chug. This is brilliant. Oh, and that's just gone forward. And that was marginal. Eagle eyes Rodden right on the spot there. Otherwise, Han was under the post, and that would have been interesting. One, That's a shame for China. One, this one, Fu Ying Li, one, he looks like a real baller to me. Number 12 for China. He's playing hooker in the front row. And if you just watch the way he gets about his work, he puts in some devastating shots. He's, he's a real... Very, very robust and physical player. Almost abrasive. Minute and a half on, then on. for the Tuskers to hold on. This is a crucial pool game Find. for them. They'll have Hong Kong as well Sit. tomorrow. Oh, and that's Same panel. shot right out the other side there. And it's going to be a Sri Lankan feed. That's a, they retain the feed. Just a bit lucky there, Sri Lanka, to get away with that one. I'm sure Boys, this massive Chinese front row are going to have Crouch. some consideration Find. of a pushover. Nudge these Sit. Sri Lankans off the ball. The foot goes out. The early hook. And they've done well to hold that one, Sri Lanka. No real shove coming from China. They decide to go downtown. There's no sweeper. And blasting is Naveen in number 10. Oh, maybe he should have just towed that forward. But Kevin Dixon there in four. And it was almost very 
ambitious, I would say, by Naveen to go down on that one. Maybe he thought he was just going to dive down, pop it up to Joseph. So still a chance for China here in the dying moments. Well, just to put it in some sort of perspective, we know that referee Rodden, or the average human being, is uh, pretty quick himself, but he was nowhere to be seen on Let's that go. kick and chase. Let's go. I yeah. think he injured himself in the referee's touch match earlier in the day. Oh, yeah, that was quite a heated exchange, wasn't it? I've never Five. seen so much remonstration, Come complaining, drop balls, forward passes, and a bunch of referees. Fine. It's a bit of a tradition Six. here in Colombo for the officials to have a game of touch to warm up. Here goes Han on the hooter. They've got to go 80, 90 metres. And if anyone can, it's that man. They're going to run out of space here. Oh, no. And Liu gets the unlucky bounce into his hand there. And that's going to be enough, I think, for Sri Lanka. And they're celebrating like they've won the final. They, they acknowledge that this is a key match in pool play for them. And they've pulled it off in front of their home crowd. Through the likes of Danushka, Ranjan and co. They take one step forward confidently. They'll meet up later on today against Chinese Taipei in the final round. 19-12, the Tuskers over China. Stand by for Hong Kong.